Unfounded concerns and rumor about Bear Stearns' solvency are the cause of the collapse of the giant Wall Street firm two years ago. That's the line taken by former Bear Stearns executives as they were questioned by members of a special financial crisis inquiry panel. As a result of these conditions, we experienced a significant cash outflow, which reduced our liquidity pool dramatically. But the commission pointed to the firm's strategy of borrowing funds from rival firms and significant problems with leverage ratios as the cause of the collapse. Why would you think that that business model of extraordinary leverage where asset value drops of 2 to 3 percent would wipe out all equity, why would you think that that would be sustainable in any kind of market disruption? The committee says in the end, Bear Stearns' practices left it unprepared for when customers began pulling out their assets. There were rumors circulating that things were happening to Bear Stearns. Well, ultimately, in a commercial bank, your, 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 your safe, your ultimate safe is, hey, your money's insured, don't worry about it. You, you had no fallback to your fallback. Bear Stearns was the first Wall Street bank to implode and is being looked at as a case history of an institution that operated in what's being called a shadow banking system institutions and markets operating outside the regulatory structure. The panel will hear testimony next from Treasury Secretary Timothy Geithner and former Treasury Chief Henry Paulson, the chief architect of the federal bailout. Mark Hamrick, the Associated Press.